Developing at five, the Houston man missing for nearly a week has been found safe, but there are still a lot of questions that police are looking into tonight. Brett Dietemore disappeared last week, and now we're learning more about how they found him. KPRC2's Bryce Newberry live outside the Westview Police Department with more on the investigation. Bryce. Lisa, the police chief says they are now looking into other people who may have been complicit in other activities of that missing man, Brett Dietamore. They would not elaborate on that, but tonight we do know that he has been found safe at a bus stop in San Antonio. Police tell us that he emailed his wife yesterday, and after they were able to verify it wasn't a hoax, officers that specialize in mental health were able to track him down. They tell us he was phased and disheveled when they found him and agreed to come back to Harris County voluntarily, where he was admitted to a hospital for treatment. Police say evidence showed early on that he may have left on his own for several reasons, but that didn't stop law enforcement agencies from looking for him. Also, while volunteers with Texas EquiSearch embraced scorching heat to search Bear Creek Park, that's where his truck was found burned out. We did not make it a high profile case. Uh, social media and media made it a high profile case. If the uh, if you guys hadn't been involved, social media hadn't been involved, we would have still had the same response. It just wouldn't have garnered as much attention. And records show in the days around his disappearance, at least two financial related lawsuits were filed against him and his development company. As for that burned out truck, the Houston Fire Department tells us arson investigators are still looking into it. We're live in Westview. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Lots of questions. All right, Bryce, thank you.